Hello and welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your old Globe Fiber Home DSL modem as a Wi-Fi extender. This modem is uh, Fiber Home HG180 version. Now this modem uh, I was still using this when I was still in uh, using Globe DSL. They upgraded my connection to uh, VDSL, so they had to change my modem. Um, let's see there the model info, the power rating, and important the uh, default Wi Fi, SSIDs, and password. Looking at the ports at the back. It's very important uh, that we know where the reset button is. It's inside that small hole. Just have to make sure that we use something small enough to fit into that hole. Para talaga mo press mo yung reset button correctly. And you see the four LAN ports and the DSL port and two to ports. No one port. So this will be a LAN to LAN connection. DHCP should be turned off on this device. So powering up the modem, uh, advice ko lang kayo na this modem takes a while to initialize. So pressing the power button on, uh, the power LED will turn red initially. Just have to wait for it. Susunod na ilaw yung wireless LED, which turn green. And... As soon as mag-green yung wireless LED, susunod na dapat na mag-green yung power LED. There you go. Susunod na dapat yung power. Uh, pag nag-green yan, ibig sabihin, okay na siya. Pwede na natin siyang reset. I'm using a toothpick here. So just make sure that I put it inside the hole there. And there, uh, very faint lang siya, pero make sure na marinig yung click when you press it in para you know that you're, you're setting it correctly. So it varies from uh, device to device, but I usually do it for 10 or 15 seconds. Now, this particular modem will wait around 5 seconds, and there you go. Magpupula yung power LED niya. And that will take around 20 seconds and then it will reboot the new wireless, the new power and we're ready to go. Okay na siya. Configure na natin siya by connecting it to our computer. We're using a regular lab cable here. Just connect it to one of the ports of the globe modem. And the other end, you connect it to your computer. So I connected to my computer. Uh, just need to make sure that I'm getting the IP address from it. Here you go. That's the IP address from the modem. And that's the modem IP address. We're going to use that to access the GUI. Open up a browser, type in the modem's IP address. And you'll be presented with a landing page. Para siyang a modem status page. You can see the one connection status and the land connection status. Uh, that's what we're going to configure later on. So just click on login on the upper right hand side of the page. And I'm using the admin login here because sometimes it will not work yung user login. I'll be providing the, the default admin password in the description. So you'll be presented with the modem status page. Uh, 
Now, before we do anything else, I just wanted to show you the bottom, how full featured this modem is. Uh, so you can see here the one connection status. So it's still retain the low uh, connection information here. Now in this page, you can choose to delete or just enable the one connection information and the network address translation. Um, I prefer to just disable it by unchecking the tick boxes and then clicking on the flight at the bottom. Now back to Ginagawa. Uh, my, it varies from uh, device to device, but usually take or disabling something uh, takes away some of the, or takes back the resources uh, being used by the model. So in here, under than IPv4 configuration, change the IP address to something that's different from the, the subnet and the IP must be different from the converged modem. So I'm using dot zero dot one para mas madaling tandaan. Hindi pa natin i-disable yung uh, DHCP niya kasi kailangan pa natin siyang i-access ulit. Now, on some modems or routers, changing the IP address of the device reloads it automatically using the IP address. Or if not, you can just type in the new IP address right away. But since this is a very old device, um, it may take a while. And as you can see, the connection timeout na siya. And typing in the new IP address won't work as well. Now we can opt to re uh, reboot the modem or we can just kind of release and renew the IP. Here I just prefer to turn off the HCP of my Ethernet connection and just turning it back on again para mako makuha niya bagong IP address from the modem. It should be the same subnet as the yo 192.168.0.100 updated na rin yung modem IP address so access natin ulit log back in now the next step is fairly simple we just need to disable the HCP on this device but before we do that I uh, just wanted to show you uh, may iba pang features to modem na to, especially wireless features that you can use. Um, under advanced setup, meron siyang parental control. Meron din siyang um, uh, so let's go back to wireless. It has advanced wireless configuration. Meron din siyang uh, uh, MAC address filtering for Wi-Fi. There you go. As DOS protection as well. If you want to configure it. So let's go back to that. IPv4 configuration and disable DHCP. Now, as soon as you disable this and click on apply, it is disabled na yung DHCP server niya. And hindi nyo na ma access to uh, modem na to. I mean, there's still a way that you can access it by static IP. But make sure na lahat ng kailangan yung gawin before you disable the DHCP server on this modem ay nagawa niya. After this, we need to connect it to our converged modem. So, 
So again, it takes a while. Uh, the load pa ulit siya. So same procedure. I'm just going to turn off my device DHCP and then turn it back on. Now, as soon as, as I turn back the DHCP on my device, it will try to acquire an IP address from the modem, but since it's able to DHCP, it will assign itself its own IP address starting at 169.254. Okay, so there you have it. As pag may api pa na kayo, it means hindi na gumagana yung uh, DHCP server ng modem. We can connect it to the Converge modem now. So, kahit i-reload nyo ito, hindi na tumiglay yung page nyo. Now, connecting it to the Converge modem is straightforward. As I mentioned before, it's a LAN-to-LAN -LAN connection. So, just connect one end of the LAN cable to one of the LAN ports of the Converge modem and the other end to one of the LAN ports of the globe modem or the old router. At pag may activity na siya on both devices, just connect to the Wi-Fi of the Glow modem. So type in the default Wi-Fi password dun sa ilalim ng Glow modem. And if you're connected, you can check your IP address. It will be in the same subnet as the Converge modem, 192.168.100. Something. And para makasiguro kayo, try to access yung GUI ng Converge modem. For the Huawei one, it's 192.168.100.1. Log in, and you should see your device connected there. So one curious thing about this is yung device nyo or yung, yung computer nyo connected to the Wi-Fi extender of the modem. It will be displayed under wired devices. Now let's do a speed test. Nakalimut ako mix ito ng speed test app. It's a computer code, so I'll just use the CLI version. And again, we can't stress this enough, but make sure you test it against Converge server. Download is 33.07 Mbps. Testing upload now. So, maayos naman siya. Now, we're going to test it on my phone. Then, connect it to the 5 gigahertz. And, it's getting the correct IP addressing. So, let's open up speed test. The first server connecting and... Thirty three points up to him and then thirty point seven. Relatively a still good connection, um, considering that it's an old model. So there you go. That's how you configure the old load DSL model as a Wi Fi extension.